Our next presentation on, is on Reservoir DDMS. Uh, Marcus and Alice, um, our colleagues from France, unfortunately uh, uh, had a travel disruption. Uh, and so Philippe Vernet will be doing the presentation on Reservoir DDMS on their behalf of them. Philip? Okay, hello everybody. So, uh, uh, as uh, Denis said, I'm not Alice, I'm not Marcus, and I don't pretend to, have a, to be as great a, as them, but I'm going to do my best to, to present to you this uh, presentation about the second example of capability and alignment uh, related to the reservoir DDMS. So, um, first, a bit of story about the RDDMS and mainly the reservoir domain in OSDU. So, we started uh, with two teams uh, three years ago, one team for data definition uh, part and one team for the DDMS part. Uh, on the data definition part, uh, the operator, we started with the operator's lead initiative by providing a lot of reservoir data definition that we have merged into the master branch in M10. Uh, at the same time, on the DDMS side, uh, there has been a first contribution of uh, Aspen Tech of the code of the RDDMS. But then in 2022, we decided to merge the two teams together to, in order to save some resources and to be more productive because it appears that uh, actually the same people were in the two teams and there were some topics that were duplicated or repeated. So we tried to save a lot of resources and time and we merged the, the two teams together in 2022. Then from, 2020, 20, uh, from 2022, uh, on data definition side, we, answer, we, addresses, we addressed uh, on-demand addition. So for example, currently we are working on biostratigraphy with uh, an input of Equino and CGG. Um, and we focus on also on different uh, topics uh, for the RDDMS. So on RDDMS, there was a second contribution of uh, Aspen Tech for the code of the RDDMS. And then after, we had our first deployment on uh, Azure. You can see a star uh, next to it. Uh, it just means that uh, a star, it's a public presentation that we have done using WebEx, for example, uh, in order to show exactly what has been done to the whole OSDU community. Then after this deployment, we have worked on uh, ACR support, SSL, ETP client support, and providing REST API, again with a public uh, presentation. Then uh, we worked on the manifest uh, builder that provides a link to the indexes, indexing system, and some improvement uh, about ACL support, and a second deployment, this time on IBM. So this is where we are today, and of course, we, uh, we are exciting to continue. What we want to show in this presentation is uh, our specificities of this uh, team uh, of the Reservoir DDMS. We have done since the beginning a, a big choice to leverage adoption by using existing energistic standards. So we have not reinventing the wheel. We have not started from scratch. We are starting from an uh, from something that was uh, already uh, done and available. So um, we used the RescueML data model to define uh, the metadata in data definition. We uh, used also the another energistics uh, standard, which is called ETP for energistics transfer protocol. Uh, we use it as the API for the data exchange to implement the reservoir DDMS. The, in our uh, reservoir DDMS, the storage format is exactly the RescueML object. They are stored exactly as is. And um, as uh, some of you have been uh, involved, uh, I think, yesterday in the Energistics uh, meeting, you can see that uh, those standards uh, are still answering, addressing uh, the community requirements. So that's uh, something that is important for us as well. Uh, a, second important point, a second important point is about uh, developers, architects, and SMEs attending the data definition and then DDMS tracks. So we, uh, we believe that we have a, a right balance, a correct balance between vendors and operators. 
our approach in RDDMS is workflow and use case oriented. And we have not uh, decided to do everything, but we try to limit uh, the schema that we do, the schema definition to only the most important entities. Finally, we contribute uh, the code in the community GitLab uh, uh, that allow collaboration on top of this code and that allows to, to create a, commu uh, a community around the RDDMS. A uh, third important point is to adapt APIs to uh, different client categories and needs and don't limit to a single API type. So in different client categories and needs, we can, we can uh, mention data analytics using metadata versus data screening including numeric values, data visualization, and last but not the least, the manifest generation from the DDMS in order to, to be able to index our data. So the key point of all this slide is that we have used a standard that is approved, validated, and integrated in industry SMEs, operational workflows. And this has allowed us to use the existing software uh, connectors to test reserve our DDMS use case and client workflows, saving us a lot of time and a lot of resources. So what, what worked well and what uh, does work well? So um, the OS, first, the OSDU specific guidance for, from the data definition team and core concept team. And the, also the regular communication with the PMCs. We also think that uh, to split the lead and the, the responsibilities in our team is uh, something that worked well. The merge of the two teams also is something that worked well. We are working with a single team allows us more reactivity between data definition and DDMS. Uh, the testing of our use case was also something great because we have done the bet to use a, an existing standard with some existing implementation and then it was quite quick actually to test what we have done because we, again, we did not start from scratch. We, we started from the energetic standards. Um, another point is that when we talk about reservoir, that's a new word, but behind this word, there is a really a large data scope. And uh, we, because it is large, it involves uh, a lot of interaction with other domain, with other group in OSDU. Uh, and, for example, for, we have worked recently in Paris, especially uh, at the face-to-face -face about some uh, interaction with seismic team, and this is something that we have uh, liked uh, a lot because we, we have some first outcome, and uh, we definitely, this, this is something that worked well. Uh, last thing that worked well is CSP involvement. So uh, even, uh, even though it is not continuous, not, not continuous and varying from providers, but, but actually we, we, we thank CSP uh, for their involvement. What can be improved now? So two parts in uh, OSD organization and uh, more reservoir specific. So in OSD organization, it would be good if we could have mm, uh, clearer guidance on DDMS certification. It has been a bit discussed just uh, before, but the certification of DDMS uh, and even from the beginning when we start to develop it would be, uh, would be helpful. Again, for development uh, purpose, having uh, more pre-shipping environment would be, would be helpful. Uh, also, what can be improved the CSP deployment pace for testing. So it's not continuous and it is varying from providers. So, yeah, we think that it can be improved. The cross DDMS work group is also a way for improvement because uh, uh, for now, the, the DDMS are, are only about one domain. This is the first D, but uh, we need some cross-DMS uh, work group. And, um, and also uh, a more generic point about less roadmap objective with more active community. So maybe what we generally call uh, do less but do better. So do a little bit less but do much more better. This is more what we, what we mean about some reservoir specific uh, potential improvements. So we think that we are a bit understaffed to attend all meetings. Again, that's a large data scope in reservoir. So we would like to be part and to go to uh, other team that would, that would be really helpful in order to avoid some duplication of data definition, for example. 
but uh, but it takes uh, it takes our own resources, so it's hard to to understand uh, how to how to do that. Um, so there is no clear decision on cross DDMS management. We don't know exactly how to interact with the other uh, DDMS. Uh, even if the standard is documented, we use uh, Rescue ML, as I said earlier. Uh, it can be a bit hard for people that have never looked at the documentation, which is available, but if they have never looked at it, it can be a bit uh, difficult for them. So we need to, to find a way to educate them in order to make them understand, understand what uh, exactly is RescueML. One of the examples is that RescueML uses a graph data model that, uh, that we use, uh, and, but this graph data model can lead to slow down CSP deployment, for example, because uh, it's, it might be new for, for, some, uh, for some other team. So this is quite a summary of what worked well and what can be improved. And as a last slide, if uh, I have no time, so I don't know if I have spent my 10 minutes or not, sorry if, uh, if it was too long. Uh, but just some statistics about the RDDMS uh, GitLab repository. So uh, 18 months ago, it has been uh, built with 18 different contributors, more than uh, 200 commits, seven releases, available build and, uh, build and install documentation, operational CI CD uh, pipelines, officially already deployed on two CSPs, and multiple presentations with testing on official demo environment. I thank you and I keep available and I will really be happy to, to discuss with you if you have further uh, questions during a break. Thank you.